getting to worship the thing. Like, okay, I'm getting these titties so I can, I mean, my, I mean, these breasts. I'm getting these breasts. You have a lot of work to do. So that I can. Yo, it's Marty. And Fernie. And you're listening to the track stars. You in the field with them. Dang. Yeah, back in the field with the track stars. Ryan Wright to Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. What's good? Yeah, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, the Track Stars, and you are listening to us live, man, 12 to 2 p.m. each and every Saturday. Make sure you check out True Strength Apparel, man. Always, always sponsoring the Track Stars episodes like this one. And always, always, Rap Reel is in the building. Rap Reel is starting tomorrow, so you'll be able to check that out. Go out there, support. Uh, we got, who on that? Uh, Aaron Cole is on there. We got, uh, is Tori Deshaun on that one as well? Yeah, so Double. it's going to be awesome, man. Double is on that. So make sure that you, uh, if you're in the Atlanta area, that you come out and check out Track Stars. And then for all things Track Stars, go to www.trackstars.com. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram at Track Stars. Follow us on Twitter at Track Stars. Make sure that you like the Facebook page. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, man, leave us a comment when you download the podcast. Let us know how we're doing. All right, we got red letters in the building. Guest hosting with us. How you doing, man? Como te va esta de la track stop. There you go, there you go. So, so put it all in perspective seven. right there. That put it all in on perspective. On 24 7. So, we, we've known you, we've known of you at least for a long time because um, you used to produce for our boy uh, Danny Script. Oh, so you know Script? Y- of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, Script Script is a, a, a great friend of ours. And uh, you produce for Mouthpiece as well. Yeah, that's recent. But I've, I've kind of been like, a ghost producer, ghost. What's the word? Like a, I'm almost like a ghost in the whole Christian rap community. So I've been around here. for a second. Like I did a joint for Kristen Gray on Body Art. Mm. I, my first joint was with uh, K Drama uh, on the Road to Glory album. I think he did uh, Behind the Glory. My, my bad. <laughs> a lot of Glory albums. The, the Glory, Behind the Glory, In the Glory, Over the Glory. Give him the glory. <laughs> A lot of glory, out, but yeah, I've I've done a lot of a lot of production off and on, and features and etc. So we we saw um, where you uh, did this little spoof video to Lecrae. <laughs> My question is, did did it work? No, it, it did not. Work. It did not. Okay, <laughs> it so, did not work. Tell them tell them what you were doing. <laughs> nah, um, what happened is, and I'm cool with Dayton too. By the way, shout out to Dayton, God over money. Um, uh, I saw the video, and you know, I took what he said to heart. You know, I feel, he, I, you know, I feel how he felt at a certain time, back when I was super tight about Christian hip hop being in the forefront, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But um, anybody that know me know me. I don't have actual common sense, um, <laughs> <laughs> even though I'm from Chicago. You figure, come with me. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I was just, I just felt like joking about it. That's it. That is. The only reason why I did that video is just being silly. I just felt like being silly. Mm-hmm. And then 2,000-something views later, I'm like, these people really took this What just happened? <laughs> okay. Funny. Everybody took it serious except Lecrae, apparently, because he <laughs> didn't hit me back. But And then, like, even the other day, just joking around, I put red letters X Lecrae equals Red Crayolas, <laughs> 2018. You know what I'm saying? And people hitting it like, yeah, oh, this is gonna be so fire. I'm like, I don't know this guy. Like, I, 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 it could be fire, I guess. I'm just joking, but I'm I'm just that type of. Dude. So real quick, what were you trying to push? Because we heard a little bit of the project. What, oh, what was now, it? now you got yeah. your chance. Okay, well, I do have an album that I put out in uh, December, uh, December 19th, called Pintheo. Uh It's my first album. Man, since I did an album like 10, 11 years ago called Christ Like. Seriously? Um, so that's like my first album. Album. Mm. Um, took like five years to put together. Um, had production by myself, uh, Nitro, uh, Focus, uh, who also is the mastermind behind the Compton album. Mm. Mm. Uh, he did like six joints on there, plus he mixed and mastered like. 14 of the 13 tracks so that's my big brother mm-hmm. and um at the moment i'm his artist technically oh cool so um he did the mixing and mastering on my project and he did like a good four or five project beats on that too but um i've been pushing that since december um it's kind of like a 
it's a melting pot of emotions and feelings since I, um, you know, lost my wife or whatever. Oh, wow. mm. And um, just kind of, it was like a, almost like a journal, if you want to look at it that way. Wow. And uh, just talking about how I felt, you know, kept it all the way 100, <laughs> mm-hmm. all the way like to, to embarrassment 100, like stuff you probably shouldn't say. Wow. Um, but um, that I figured, you know, since I'm playing anyway, I might as well throw that in there. And so I, I did. So it, it kind of helped to get some people to know that it was out there, but I'm not done pushing. Wow. Well, well good job. I mean, it, it got our attention. <laughs> <laughs> So since you guest hosting with us today, we're gonna throw you right into the fire. Okay. Right? We 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 talk about some serious stuff in here. Okay. Hard stuff. So we're gonna get right into it. I what you got? Okay. Let me scare yeah, my answers. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna be talking about today. Um, is plastic surgery a sin? Um, of course. <laughs> That can definitely have a lot of commentary. Oh. But the reason this, this sparked, like, our thought was because of uh, Tyrese's post that he had, I think, on Instagram and Twitter, yeah. which I don't I believe is up anymore. I saw that, though. Yeah, so he was making some comments yeah. about, you know, fake aspects. Um, <laughs> I like how you did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like that. I was going to oh, say, uh-oh. I didn't even realize. <laughs> <that> <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> but you, you yeah, like the look from Ryan, like talk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> after the show um, talks. <laughs> yeah, so that was just you know a question that came up on the call. So, so what did what he say? Think? Did you ever find his statement? So I'm pretty sure he took they it down because I was I was searching, I was looking, um, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> but I do I remember reading his Instagram post, and it was essentially saying that like men can tell when a woman is doing all this fake stuff, like whether that's fake hair fake eyelashes, fake implants, fake other things, Mm -hmm. and they're not about it. So it was got a lot of outrage. There were people who were like, oh, you know, go ahead, Tyrese, you're doing great things. (laughs) And then there were people who were like, you know, who are you being misogynistic and telling women they can't, you know, love themselves the way they want to love themselves. Then you had the like, oh, all about that natural beauty commentary, and then the you don't like black women commentary. So mm. it was like some <laughs> levels to the thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's what he was talking about. I think this is all because of his speculation of his race, of his wife. Yeah. People still trying to figure out, is she black? He says she's black. I've seen some pictures where I was like, okay, she's light skin, light skin. But then some other people was like, no, she's Latina. She's, she's Hispanic. Hispanic. She claims she's, um, a, a lot of different things so on her Instagram. I know she's from Jersey. That's wait, a big thing. Wait, uh, that's you. Okay. Wait, wait, run it back. Okay. He's married? He yeah. is. He, yeah. just, he just got married. <laughs> like okay. A few months yeah, okay. Ago. I'm sitting here like, wait, hold on. Last I checked, homeboy was going back and forth with his girlfriend about his kids and la 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 la. la. Okay. I'll shut yeah. up. So I saw, I saw where so she's uh, she's um, part Jamaican. I saw where she was part um, Ecuadorian or something like that. Like she she had a lot of different things yeah. that she's been claiming. Which so is possible. There, there's a history there though. I mean, we're, we're not talking about that topic today. So we'll leave right. that for later. Yeah. The plastic surgery. Exactly. Yeah. What do you think about that? I mean, what if she could be white, black, orange, yellow, polka dot? I don't. What? Let the man live. If he loves her, he married her. I think the problem. I think the problem is <laughs> at times Tyrese does come off as Mister. I love my sister. You know what I'm saying? I love my sister. So when yeah. that happens. And sister's like, oh, word, you love us, but you got her? You know what I mean? <laughs> that's that's huge. That happens to everybody. Though. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so, I, so I think that's the problem that he got a, um, um, came across for them. But um, talking about plastic surgery, I think if you feel a certain way about a body part, you either can work it off or you can pay to get it off. Huh. Mm. So but that's that really up wrong? to you. Is it a, is it wrong for you to pay to get something altered? So if you, okay, so what's <laughs> okay? What's the difference between a tummy tuck or you losing the weight naturally? What's the difference besides you working it off to get the stomach down? Hmm. Other than one is natural, thousands of one dollars is not. To yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Natural. I'm just versus saying, like like natural organic versus, versus GMO. It's like the whole. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the whole, it, there's a verse about this where it talks about, um, um, I can't remember how it's worded. It was talking about money, but uh, quick gains. Yeah. It, it mm-hmm. warns against quick gains. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, it, it was talking more about getting money quickly and how that could ruin mm-hmm. your life. Yeah. But isn't that kind of the same thing? If you, if you do something drastically quick, unless it's a health issue. We've known right. people who have done drastic things to their body uh, surgery-wise to get healthy. But yeah. if you're doing it for um, just for vanity reasons, 
the quickness of it may not be actually good for you. Shot to it, your it, body. May, it may be a uh, yeah. false reality because you're I'm, still eating the same way. I'm not going to name names either, but we know some celebrities who have done those different types of things, and everything doesn't everything doesn't fall in place the right way after that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like right. like skin is left over. And sagging in areas where it's probably supposed to be tight if you would actually if work you have that a work. Christian follower, let's just put this See, out. See, normally, there. Uh-huh. I would say, let's just throw that out there. I would say, you but then what stop. was interesting. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> notice but, I did. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just put this down. But what was interesting I don't was. Care about my Christian follower. I think it was miracle. <laughs> Get this truth. Get this real truth. Was, um, <laughs> Way the truth in the light. Let's, let's keep this moving. Somebody on the show, somebody on the call brought up the fact that you are actually altering your temple that God gave you. And is that the part of it that you would actually call a sin? Because what? these are the parts God gave you, and now you're you're adding on to it. You're taking away from it. You're okay. That part is interesting to me. So, I, I want to okay. hear somebody answer that. So say some, so say I buy a house, and I want to add two bedrooms to it. That you know, that's, if it's a temple, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like okay. But, now yeah. here's what I look at. I look at it like this. Everything is a heart issue. Mm-hmm. So if this person is doing it just because they want, they got the money to do it, and they want it, and it boosts their, you know, self esteem or whatever, whatnot, go for it. But when you begin to worship the thing, like, okay, I'm getting these titties, so I, can, I mean, my, I mean, these breasts, <laughs> I'm getting these breasts. What, you have a lot of work to do, so that I can, uh, yeah, no, yeah, bleep, bleep those. Now, now, bleep we're that. now but, you're on my album. <laughs> this is what I talk about in my album. So but, go check but, it out. but my Wonder thing you. is, if you're doing it because. Okay. Periscope is laughing too. We still got kids, so I gotta go edit. I gotta edit. Yeah, yeah. This is okay. the preview. Of what have I'm fun. Doing. You're gonna have fun editing with yeah. me in the room. Okay, I'm gonna, be good. I might as well give you that heads up now. Um, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. But my thing is, if you're doing it with the heart of like you, you're, you're very super dissatisfied with the fact that you're this way. Yeah. That you can't be no better until you get. Then, then yeah. you got another issue. Because then, if that's the case, no matter what you alter or what you train, it's not gonna be enough. So let me throw another wrench out there. What if a woman is influenced to do it because of a man? Ooh, that's a good one. Cause I, I have a, I have a. Don't put nobody on a, Front Street. No, 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 no. Oh. I have a philosophy. Oh, that's, that's where I, I was going. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> Speed me up. This is live. I gotta... <laughs> anyway, I have a philosophy about that. Um, I feel like when you're with somebody, like if you're married and you're with somebody, or if it's serious and it's leading to marriage. However your, your spouse or your significant other would like to see you look, I think that you should do that for that person. If that's the person. Surgery? That Before oh. marriage? No no, 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 I said in marriage. No, I said in marriage. Oh, okay. I didn't know if I, it was no, no, no. fiance. See, you can't be like, I'm just dating you. You know what? I think you should change your hair to like. A buzz cut. That'd be dope for me. I just want to see. <laughs> nah, I don't cut. know you like that. I'm not. We ain't, we ain't got that type of commitment. Like, you, what? Be but surprised again, what people do. again, <laughs> surgery, surgery is serious because at that point you got to be like, okay, first of all, you have to heal from the surgery. That's true. That's one thing. Um, second thing is you have to you have to bounce back from the surgery. I've like, which is not the same thing as heal from surgery. Like. Healing from surgery is you have these scars, these cuts, they heal. Bounce back is now you have this new whatever or you don't have this whatever came out. And now you have to get used to not having or having it. Bouncing back from it. Completely two different things. Um, That's almost as serious as... Uh, let's, let, me, let me bring it this way. Maybe it's, it's almost as bad as serious as asking a woman if she should have an abortion or not. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because again, it's her body, but the but the but the um, the the conversation or whatever is really what you both come to agreement with. You know. So if I was to ask a girl, yo, I'd like for you to get such and such and such a done or whatever, that's something depending on their like relationship mm-hmm. where they can take that. And again, it's a hard thing. Now, I myself personally, I like you how you are. If I if I got you, then. I don't, what what you need to change? I'm I, I, you whatever you had had got me, so I don't need to. If it's something that we can do naturally, let's do it naturally together. We can we can run work out together. We can do that together. But getting stuff added and tech, nah, I'm good on that. That's that's me personally, and that's how I feel about it. And again, everything backs up to a heart issue. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, um, I'm one of the things I brought up on the call was, um, is it in a sin in the sense of 
um, we're telling God it's not enough and basically saying mm. like uh, plastic surgery, you know, can that be equated to like a lot of times the church looks at transgender people like they're so, you know, abnormal or strange. But it's like, do we do the same things? But we just put them on a higher standard, oh, okay. you know, like a higher pedestal problem. being like, oh, that's doing. such a sin because you're changing your gender. Yeah. But at the same time, you're totally fine with changing aspects of your body. So mm. that's kind of where I'm like, should we be? And even with hair color, which I've dyed my <laughs> hair, so I'm not saying so I'm like, perfect. Are you naturally like that color? Right no, <laughs> but you know, um, that so that's something I'm, I think we should think about and talk about. I think sometimes we just are okay with things because of the times and the way society tells us things are okay. Mm -hmm. But it's just a thought I've had. Like I wonder. I, I, it's, it's a couple things I'm thinking about. Number one, some of this we're talking about temporary things like your weight, your weight. God didn't make you your weight. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. partially your problem. Right. Um, your hair color is is technically dead skin. Like it's it's not yeah. that important, right? I'm talking about structural things like your nose, your your right. cheekbones, your you know like your body. You know, mm -hmm. is that wrong to do? Something that breasts, changes though. who you are. <laughs> I did the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Something that changes. He's trying to steer away from that part. Like, let's keep it up here. We're trying to, above we, the we started, at, like, we right started at T's, <laughs> and then we're coming back down. <laughs> so, but the question is, like, is that wrong? Structural changes, not like superficial changes. But even because the superficial changes are still can still be rooted in a like not being satisfied because you may not be able to afford to have a structural change, uh -huh. but you could be all about, you know, all the little small things that you can do. I mean, I've seen some videos on all sorts of social media where people when they take makeup off or. Why you got the look added on your face? stuff? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, they like, oh. <laughs> no, and then, wow, wow. there's like men that do this too. <laughs> like it's not. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Oh, it's just. <laughs> it's not just women that do this. I've seen men who take like will yeah. take off makeup. They have these lace fronts yeah. for dudes now. Yeah. Like there's men levels. Have what part of the game is that? Are you serious? <laughs> there's lace some levels. Yeah, to this yeah thing. that's what lace fronts. I did see that. Yeah, and oh. so and you're changing things. What? So to the it's, eye, it's only like three steps away from waves, though, Ryan. Like I feel like the wave thing, it, it, it's it's an obsession. <laughs> what who's waves who's? are an obsession yeah. for who? Yeah. For men. No, they're not. Oh, really? Come on. Waves it, are an obsession. All it is is all it is brushing your hair. No, it isn't. All it is is brushing your hair. No, it isn't. I always like how Sean can put my top of your nose. Oh yeah, they have the they have the hold on hold on hold on. They have the goatees that are fake too, and the like the whole lace beard situation. Wait, wait, let me tell you why waves are not an obsession, right? Waves are not an obsession, not um an obsession because it's almost just saying I'm glad I have hair. I'm not balding and I'm not spotting. But everybody, yours look like it does take. Time, it waves. doesn't. It doesn't like. I use time. a comb. I don't even use a brush. See, that's the, that's turn, another level. Turn into okay, a first of all, that's soft stunting. What you just did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna point that out real quick. <laughs> I use a comb for my waves. I don't even need to brush them in. They just uh, they obedient. I have no. I nets. speak to the waves and they obey. <laughs> like Natural you can really curl. just. But but <laughs> part in the red. Talk team. about. <laughs> let, let's be real. Let's talk about the actual process for people who don't have waves that get waves. Yeah, well, it's it's not process. just brushing. It's, 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 all you do is all you do is grow your hair out, right? They call it pink oil, just no, for me. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 wave cap, no. Sporting waves. All you're doing right. is listen, across your head. Listen, <laughs> listen, from the time I started trying to 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 get waves when I was in 11th grade, all you do is grow your hair out, right? They call a process called woofing, where you brush couple hundred times a That's day. A lot of hundred right. times a day? <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but you brush. But not really. But, yeah, <laughs> but look, look, face, but like, look really after that, time. the pattern is set. I haven't had to do anything. Right. All I'm I haven't saying had to do anything since I was in 11th grade. The same vanity applies. Brush on the call. That's a brush or a comb. That's like anybody. <laughs> but the same vanity applies. I'm, 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 I'm saying it's, it's for men and it's women. It no, it is. It is. It is. Okay. Yeah. Vanity. People will say that about dreads. You yeah. can say it about fades. They, you can say about anything. Yeah. anything. But it's not an obsession, that, though. Well, you, you, you named there waves. Is, there is a wave obsession. You may not claim it, but there is a wave. No, I think it's cool. Max B wave obsession. No, I think it's cool. I subscribe to the wave. YouTube channels and all that, but wow. it's funny, though, because they actually beef about the waves. Like, that wave. part is actually funny. Like, were they actually uh. beefing about the waves? Like, uh, yo, my, my crew's waves are better than your crew, and it's funny. Yeah, YouTube, check it out. You it's know crazy. What? I'm done with YouTube. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but they got like four million views. 
They're monetizing. That's what I'm done with YouTube, right? They're monetizing. So, so, you're, so that somebody is on YouTube with waves, a wave tutorial. Oh, it's a bunch of gangs on gangs, like real, like street dudes. Like I'm gonna come Nani after gang, you. Nah, I'm gonna come after your waves. Like they diss each other on the uh, videos. And man, wave? yeah, it's Look like at battle the tsunami, rap. Son. I'm, I'm, I'm splashing, son. Yeah. Look at me, son. Really? Yeah. yeah. They really on that? Here's a question though. Okay, prime example for certain yeah. for certain um, <laughs> models, they have to have a certain look. Right. You know what I mean? So if you're yeah. no if you have that like using Michael Jackson for back in the day, if you have those nostrils that Michael Jackson had back in the day. <laughs> right? The KRS like, yeah, ones. Yeah. <laughs> you have a nose and somebody's like, We're looking for a model with a, a curvy nose or a straight nose. European. Maybe you you're, shouldn't you're, be you doing would it. you would be like, I wanna be a model, so I wanna I want to get into this. Maybe so you should. You but I, yeah. I think you that's the beauty of those who are coming out with their own modeling agencies yeah. and changing the standard. Right. Because there are certain like fashion, you know, designers and, and fashion lines or whatever who have said, I think, I don't know if it was like Chanel. I don't know, probably. But um, I remember, I believe it was Chanel that at one point had said they weren't going to do black models because they didn't see them as like clean. Mm. And no, I heard about it. Yeah, so, I mean, you have that, and it's like, well, do you try and become something you're not, or do you make something do you bleach that accommodates you? <laughs> you know you, what I'm saying? Do you continue? I see what you so, mean. So, okay, for women specifically, what's I, we brought this up on the call this week. Are women doing it for men, or are they doing it for other women? What's the, what's the actual draw? Are they doing it because women are competitive with each other, or is it really to impress a man? It's to impress a man. It could be a combination. I think, I think it's both. I think it's both. it depends on it depends on the person, so. and I think it, it can be a slight combo. I would say it depends on what you're talking about. I could understand if you say fashion is for, like, yourself and for other women, because I don't feel like men really, a we lot of men, there are not. some that really <laughs> care about fashion. But when not. it comes to the body aspect, I would lean more toward men, but I yeah. mean, there are women who would say they do it for them and their girlfriends. When so. you when you watch shows, the reality shows, and you hear like the the uh, Real Housewives of Orange County, they're always talking about doing it for a man. Yeah, mm-hmm. not not for a man like a man told me. I'm no, talking no, no, about no, no, no. To, to attract attraction. a man, to, to, to get his attention, to keep their to man. Like I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of women <laughs> will get multiple. augmentations and different things like that as they get older, so that their husbands don't. Go other places, or yeah, or like so butt they shots. Become trophy, butt shots they become trophy wives for for competition in quote unquote the strip club world, or even <laughs> just now, or <laughs> or in other in the hip hop now too. So you got to look at it from a perspective where it's a it's going to attract a man, but also it's a I have to have the biggest butt because um this, biggest this, this girl is going to take clientele from me so, or so, okay. take more attention. Here, this is all pointing to one question. We're saying, are we saying that? Not being good enough. Blood? Yeah, are we saying that they're doing this to look better? Because even some of us said, man, they they do look better when they get these augmentations. Sometimes, some don't. But are we you saying don't. that there is a better and worse? Are some people not beautiful and some people are? Is there a standard? What happened to beauty is in the eye of the beholder? Is there a common beauty standard? He got blonde. Right, right. Right, somebody shot in the eye. America's like, he's blonde. The eye of Pay him no attention. Now, as we were saying, get a butt. Get two big butts. Like, really, dude? Like, that's, I mean, but real talk, though, it's like beauty is very... Off and on, what I Subjective. like. Subjective. Right. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. It's too early for me. Well, it's 12 o'clock. It's not too early. I should. <laughs> should have no subjective. I should have my, it's gonna my be a vocabulary up to par. Um, but real talk, it's, it's it's very subjective. What one person might deem is beautiful, another person would probably be like, Ugh, get that out of here. Yeah, but I feel like that may be true, but it seems like there is a bubble of beauty where people think these things are beautiful and then there's a bubble of yeah because we've been oh, so even, saying so even if you you could say beauty's in the high eye of the beholder but there's only a certain amount of people uh considered and that's it's because we're conditioned like in america the standard of beauty is different than if you go to another country yeah that's true you know what i'm Give saying it to so i live quality so like you know and because in america it's what generally a skinny white woman or looking like you're skinny. I think that's woman. changed. I think yeah. over the years that, well, that was. Well, Kim Kardashian like, has decided she nine. wants to be a black, you know, black in the areas. Mm-hmm. Um, black but, areas. but Not a credit. I she wouldn't a say credit. that that black is in. Like, I mean, that goes into like appropriation of culture. 
where you know then white women want to take on black like attributes but i wouldn't say black or any other race is in i still feel like it's the white woman i think i i I think years ago that was the the case but i think as as we continue to grow and grow and adopt hip-hop since i um hip-hop mentality um mainstream hip-hop mentality I think more and more is getting to the Kim Kardashian of but, she has to have a, but, a, a <laughs> chicken legs, like chicken legs, but a big butt. Or, but you know see, what I'm saying? Hip, stuff like hip hop that. mentality yeah. is not generally for the black woman, though. Like if we think about like the, it's it's goes in the colorism of the lighter. You know what I mean? Nice you have the man. few that are like. Oh, I like my dark, you know. I'm not, I'm not, talking, I'm, I'm not talking about oh, skin. Mine. I'm not talking about skin complexion. No I'm talking about shape. But the what? Way I, a shape well, a woman oh yeah, shape, sure, shape, sure. But um, race, that's that's different. But so why that's is it why that Kim works? Why is it that everybody always talks about Kim Kardashian? Because she's the primary example of that. But she's opposite of what you just said, though. Opposite of what? She's not skinny white. But that's she is. Point. She's appropriating black woman culture. So, like, she is becoming black in the fact of her shape, you know. But she still has the privilege of being a white woman. But she can get the black man and she can, like, she Armenian? keep yeah, him happy, Armenian. you know, like whatever. Yeah, she's definitely <laughs> Armenian. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, she's she's Armenian, or, but she looks white and Isn't she fits like into the white. Stance? Armenian. <laughs> Armenian. <laughs> Armenian. <laughs> That's is true. What you're saying, right? That's true. Yeah. So, but yeah, so uh, she gets the best of both worlds. So, final sure. thought: Is it a sin or not to augment your body surgically? I think it's a possibility. I think I think what he just said earlier about idolization. If it's an idol for you, then yeah, it is a sin. Right. Yeah, I, I think agree. it's hard because it's hard to blanket that. Yeah, it's really hard to be like it's all sin. Like really, like yeah, it's hard to blanket a person's heart or a person's intention. So you have to watch that person. And line them up with their behavior towards how they how they treat it versus whatever. Because if that's the case, getting a new pair of J's can be a sin. Yeah, you know it, what I'm it, saying. It comes and back yeah, to comes motive. back to vanity and how you see yourself as a creation of God or not. Um, all of that stuff goes into it. So I think that's why we're trying to figure out where that line is. Where is the line right. drawn? Because if you could right. say that's wrong. How much of what you do is also is, is wrong also that wrong. you ignore? But it doesn't you know? seem like it is. Exactly. Yeah. All right, man, let's get back into it. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Righteous, Shantana, <laughs> DJ Jeremiah. Let's go. <laughs>